Hey, what's up guys? Fox on here, also known as Pasimoy Automobiles now. I changed my name to Pasimoy Automobiles, so that's what I'll be calling myself from now on, and that's what this channel's called. Today I'm with uh, Connor Sweets, he, Connor Sweets Adventures from YouTube, but he doesn't have any videos, that's just what his channel's called. Um, he's my friend, and we're going to be talking about this his Buick and my ex a little bit, and just kind of an update video, just so I can have a video to upload on YouTube and stuff like that. There will be more videos about my Oldsmobile Alero, my Oldsmobile um, 98, stuff like that. All those I'm going to make videos about, but today is just kind of an update video on what we're doing. Kind of a mess around video. So this, we bought this for $400 in the big city. Um, problems, doesn't have reverse. It's only ever worked once. And that was in the school parking lot for some reason it started working yep. otherwise no reverse but everything else works great three-speed automatic with the 3300 v6 great engine uh today he's changed the oil on it 530 high mileage yep and uh yeah basically just doing that and getting the trying to get the jack to work because it is freezing outside we got the chevy celebrity hubcaps on this this is the base model of the century it's a 1993 buick century but it is extremely nice nonetheless uh do you want to give us a tour i shall so even though this is the base model it comes with electric power seats and the buttons in kind of a weird place but they do in fact work they do go back and you don't really need anything else it doesn't have an RPM um, gauge. mirrors in the sun visor or anything but it has an aftermarket radio but besides that everything else in here works great it's extremely comfortable by the way one of the most comfortable 90s cars ever actually yes. and uh you got all your dash lights you know you don't get an rpm gauge but you don't really need to in a luxury automobile such as this nope. nice wood grain and this is extremely nice for a base model so you honestly you don't even need top of line model because this is it has everything you need for a nice car uh pretty good gas mileage because it has the smaller of the v6 engines you know 3800 series it has a 3300 you know they made 3.4 stuff like that um extremely nice tail lamps they're really cool at night i'll show a picture on the screen of that and i have a picture of my uh oldsmobile 98 i'm gonna make a video about i'll put that on the screen now anyway so very nice car it's a really nice red as well you know it has a few dents and scratches that's peeling off but very nice for 400 dollars, and it's been very reliable for him he hasn't had a single problem with it ac isn't hooked up but you don't need ac especially where we live i uh, had a new alternator stuff like that um so yeah basically he's just changed the oil for today and we're gonna be just kind of fixing it up a little bit it doesn't really need a lot though just really small things Turn around so you can hear it run. All right. We also are missing the intake right here, but it still has a filter. It does need a new muffler, but honestly, it sounds better without it. so moving on to my 2003 nissan xterra se four-wheel drive this has the 3.3 liter naturally aspirated uh, v6 with the four-speed automatic with overdrive stuff like that um this thing needs some needs some love and care on the exterior i've replaced quite a few things on the in engine like intakes some sensors um i had to replace the manifold that was a nightmare uh so as you can see big thing and he's a window i have a window for it but i just gotta take it off the parts car that's way over there take it off that one and get these adhesive all that but it's just going to be kind of difficult because of how cold it is so i haven't done it yet what i'm doing right now today is you see these things all of them are broken except for the driver's side i'm pretty sure so i bought new ones they're pretty cheap on amazon and I'm just scraping off all this old adhesive, which is very tedious. I got that, that uh, razor blade. So that's just how you're gonna do it. 
got new tires for it that's great um got the original rims still which is good and the bumper needs fixed that's another thing front bumper is taking some hits um as you can see it's pushed way down on this side it's still attached but way down on that side and then over here it's way too far up on this side the paint the fender could be painted again just a lot of little things nothing on the interior it's the stereo is cracked it does work and everything but i have no screen for it i just gotta put it in just a lot of basic things you know could use a vacuum stuff like that um i'm not gonna be doing all that in this video today but like i said this is just kind of an update video so there's videos coming in the future it's just pretty hard with the snow and everything um i guess i'll show you the so over here we got the dakota 98 dakota with the magnum v8 i think it has the v18 i don't know it's really fast though i know that very nice truck what's having some starting issues that we need to disclose it cranks but doesn't start unless you rev it a bunch Oldsmobile this is the 98 1989 98 uh, Brungham Regacy she has some issues as well such as no dash and as you can see that's the same Buick that or the same steering wheel that's in the century of my friend Connor uh, that's not supposed to be in there but I actually like the century wheels more but yeah this car definitely needs work start with the screwdriver and everything so definitely need fixed lower part of the dash to miss it then my Alero needs a CV axle it's a very nice car but it's crunching a lot right now so I want to make a CV axle replacement video on this this is a two-door Alero kind of uncommon you know most people went with the Grand Dam uh when they wanted a sporty car they could have either bought the you know Grand Am four door, the Oldsmobile Alero four door, same chassis, stuff like that. Very similar cars in some ways. So everyone went with the Grand Am GT two door, which I understand they look a lot nicer than this. But nonetheless, this is a nice car. It's the GLS, so very top of the line, pretty much. That thing over there is just destroyed. We got a boat for some reason. Nice sunny day, but very windy. So I'm going to start working on uh, getting all that goo off and applying those new, I don't know what you call them, window guards. So I'll catch up with you guys when Connor's doing his oil stuff. Alright, well, Connor is under his vehicle, just drain the oil, uh, and uh, now he's getting the oil filter out and struggling. But he's got it, so that's great. It has the catch can and everything under there, and I've made progress on my exterior. I got the window guard on, whatever you call this, sunshade. Sun shade. I'm gonna do the uh, other side too. This is kind of what it looks like on the back without it. So I'll put one on. Got all the residue off on this side. The driver's side's still fine. It's not gonna exactly match, but it won't look bad. So yeah, getting things done. I'm going to take this one off too because it's broken. Well, got her out. So guys, that'll be the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was just kind of an update video about some of the vehicles and kind of a just uh, vlog kind of. Uh, we're taking the good old Buick out for a drive in the middle of nowhere, as you can see. Uh, just a normal change. And I'll catch you in the next time. See ya.